Welcome to another podcast of Master Investor. Glad to be here again on another valuable financial education talk. Today, we're going to be speaking about how to create my financial plan with ease. If you're new to our community, make sure you subscribe, follow us on all platforms, look for the logo, become a partner of us just by subscribing here, right? And eventually you will get to see more of our products. If you have any questions, go to our website. I'm going to add the link below. And I want to also invite you to read our cash flow ebook, How to Build Cash Flow with the Internet Turn Passive Income On. You can find the link down in the description and get started with your financial education journey, right? It's all about investing. We don't, it's all about investing in our education so that we can understand how money works and be able to make money work hard for us and have assets that produce passive income so that we can have the freedom that we all deserve, okay? So don't be a slave to money, be the master of money. And there are new rules of money that you must learn because otherwise you will be struggling financially because you will be playing with the old rules of money. Like if you're saving money is good, right? It's not good any longer because money is not longer backed up by gold. Back in 1971, August 15, President Nixon separated the gold standard from the US dollar. From that point forward, money became monopoly money, fiat money, paper money, currency, and just an idea backed up by confidence. Today, money is created with debt. That's why debt is tax-free. So after 1971, money became debt. And so we can utilize other people's money, the bank's money, because it's free money. Manage good debt. In other words, we borrow money to invest for passive income into an asset that produces passive income, something that goes up in value maybe, right? And that is producing passive income, right? That is already doing that. Or you utilize debt, right? Good debt to start a business that will be successful because you have the business plan, you have the partners. It could be a real estate, a commercial, you know, residences. Uh, it could be businesses. It could be... Uh, online business, anything that will produce passive income. If you have a credit card, treat that like you have money because it is money. That's how money is created. That's why it's tax free. So it's better to use your credit card before you use your own capital, right? In fact, use your own capital to raise more debt, more good debt, because you're going to utilize that debt to create passive income. That's what will determine whether there's something, uh, whether that debt is good or bad. Okay, is the way you use it. So if we're using debt to invest for passive income, then that's good debt because it's going to make us wealthy. Bad debt makes us poor because it takes money away from us. There's nothing wrong with utilizing, you know, your passive income to purchase a liability to, you know, if you want to drive a Lamborghini, then you can build an asset that will pay for the monthly payments of that liability. Right? Or you can also rent out the Lamborghini and turn it into a business, perhaps. So you can always turn a liability into an asset with financial education. That's why it's important that we understand the different types of education that exist, academic, professional, and financial education. Most people will only know the first two, and that's the problem. Because the traditional school system do not have financial education because there is a mission in the school system that to this day is still plays its role, which is create two types of people. Employees and soldiers. Employees that work for the corporations of the wealthy and soldiers that defend, de defend uh, the corporations of the wealthy because the government is a corporation. So. You know, you must understand that when you come out of school, people are taught to speak the language of an employee. They don't teach them how money works, what money is today, how to avoid taxes legally by using the tax code because the tax code is a package of incentives for entrepreneurs and investors. So the more we follow the law, the more we understand business, we can actually 
be a tax-free entity. So with financial knowledge, you will be able to create wealth. Okay, so let's start with the steps that you need to take in order to build a financial plan. Having a strong financial plan will provide more financial security when the hard times arrive. Building a financial plan that will weather the hard times requires basic understanding of our finances. Investing in a financial education is the key to having a solid financial plan. Consider our current situation. What is the state of our finances right now? How many days will I be able to live the way I like if I quit working today? This inquiry will reveal our true level of wealth. Majority of people in the world can go without working for a paycheck because they will not know how to pay their bills if it is not working hard for earned income in someone else's company. Take a look at our monthly spending, add up the total amount of cash flow and assets that you possess right now and we're going to figure out our wealth number which is measuring time because it's how much time do i have do i got 10 years that i can stop working right now and still thrive without going below my means actually expanding and living above my means because we help everybody here in our community to expand to educate themselves to work on themselves to invest for passive income to grow their asset column. That's what we're here for, to help you understand that, look, we are doing it, you can also do it, okay? And we're gonna be that help along your journey. The following question is how you get to the wealth number. You must grab your, your entire money that you have, your cash flow, your passive income, right? Your savings, etc. How much is that? Divided by your monthly expenses. And that's your wealth number, okay? And you, you wanna grab the entire money, right, that you have, the, the number. Like if you have passive income of $100,000 a year that your businesses are producing right now without you working, 100,000, okay, it's producing that much. Let's say that's how much you have. You divide it by your monthly expenses of let's say 3,000 per month. That number is your wealth number. That should be represent how many, how many months you, you can live off of that income based on your monthly expenses, right? You live in expenses the way you like to eat everything, include everything in there, all your bills and everything. And then you can multiply, we can take that farther. You can multiply that result to however many years our assets will provide that passive income. So if that asset can guarantee me that I'm gonna be able to provide, you know, 100,000 every year for the next 10 years, then I need to multiply that result number, my wealth number, and then multiply for however many years is that list, 10 years. So you can see your wealth, your months that you can live the way you like to live or the way you're living right now, but not by shrinking, actually by expanding, okay? That's your freedom right there. This is statistic surprises a lot of people, so it is okay if it does too when you do it. Have the battle is won by simply being aware of it. We should be enough to spur us on to alter our financial course. Number one, find a reason why. We, when we enter any type of investment, we must be sure of why we're doing what we're doing, okay? The why is very important because when hard times come, whether, whether it's you're building a business, you're starting a new venture, you're launching a new brand, etc. If something is tough, you're gonna, not gonna give up because you have the big why, okay? So make sure you write down your why. Find out why is that we have chosen to become financially independent in the first place, right? Why do you want to have this wealth? Why do you want to have passive income? Is it because you want to spend more time with your family? You want to travel the world? What are your goals? It's going to help you understand about our, our yourself more, okay? Number two, identify where are today financially, where we are today financially. So we got to figure out how our finances look. Knowing where we are is a must for going where we want to go financially. 
be ruthlessly honest when it comes to our expenses as well as our passive income. Number three, choose the investment strategy that best fits our weight of life. Where do we want to go from here now that we are aware of our financial situation? What is more, how we are going to get there? There are two things we should ask ourselves through this stage of the planning process. Am I making investments for cash flow, passive income, or capital gains? When we purchase an investment, we must be clear that what type of income we will receive from the investment. For example, if a person buys a stock and increases in value, then sell it, they receive capital gains income. Am I making investment for cash flow or for capital gains, right? Because those are the two types of income that you can get when we invest. Well, and sometimes people get nothing and they lose their money because they lack financial education, so they invest it in something that was toxic. That's why it's important that you understand how to read financial statements, that you invest in your financial education daily, and also actively invest so that you can learn from your experience, okay? It's not the investment that is risky, it's the investor behind the investment. So the more education you have, you can minimize risk. There's always gonna be risk, but it's gonna be a calculated risk, okay, that we're gonna embark on. Number two, what is the mission here? Is financial freedom one of our goals? Is financial freedom one of the goals of your goals? Is paying off bad debt one of our goals and get into good debt? Is our objective to make enough money to leave a job and spend more time with our loved ones or fulfilling our passions? Have a specific objective in mind that we can pursue whatever it may be. It is critical to find out the why, okay? So that's very important. And then So the next is personal finance basics. It is time to include all of the data from steps one and three above on your personal financial statement when we have gathered it all. In other words, once you have your expenses, how much income you have, right? How will, do you have any assets? You're gonna plug it all in into your financial statement and the financial statement is composed of the income column, of an income statement, income column, expenses, and then we have the balance sheet, assets, liabilities, right? So be careful where you label an asset. If it's an asset, it must put money into your pocket without you working. So if you have uh, two houses, you live in one, and the second house, you are putting it uh, through Airbnb, and it's being rented out the entire month, and it's producing passive income, and that passive income is paying for the entire mortgage of that house, any interest and all the expenses of the house and it's leaving you with some positive cash flow, then that house is an asset. Your second home is an asset, but the one that you live on is not an asset. A lot of people label their house that they live in their, the biggest investment, the biggest asset. is the bank's in, uh, asset because the bank is making money off of it. You're paying mortgage to the bank. They give you a loan. So it depends on the way the cash flow flows. That's what's important to see. Is it putting money into your pocket even while you're sleeping? Or is it taking money out of your pocket? So make sure you label them correctly, okay? Uh, and once you understand where you are financially, then you can say, okay, I need to start building passive income. I'm also gonna add the blog. We created an article on this topic so you can actually read it. And you know, you'll find more things that we maybe didn't talk on this uh, show right here, but we're going to be able to understand better once we see the diagrams that we put on our blog. So make sure you go over there to our website and take a look at this very uh, podcast, which has a blog with it, okay? We want to help you as much as we can deliver high quality financial education in whichever way we can legally possibly give it to you so you know podcasts videos blogs um, text messages anything we're also working on our app so stay tuned 
okay? The cash flow pattern of the wealthy class, we have a diagram where we'll show you that we receive income from our assets. We work on building our asset column. That's what rule number one is, that we work to build passive income and make money work hard for us because once we get that passive income, we gotta put that money to work. We don't just pay the expenses and the liabilities that we have, but we want to make sure that can we turn any of our liabilities into an asset so that that expense can come back to our asset column or can we just add more assets, which is the next asset that we're going to acquire in our asset column. Is it gonna be a storage unit? Is it gonna be a multi-family property? What is it going to be? Am, am I going to launch a new uh, company online? Am I going to do drop shipping? Am I going to put systems together to work for me? Right? What's the next asset that I'm going to build? That's what we should have in mind when we're receiving passive income. We should be allocating that money already into an asset that will produce more passive income. So we got to put that money to work. Okay? That's what rule number one is that we work to build passive income and make money work hard for us. Okay? You can see the diagram on our website. There are three types of education. We talked about it earlier on the podcast, academic education, professional education, financial education. Academic education, as we all know, is, is very important because it helps us with math, reading, and writing. Okay, we all need that. Professional education, that type of education is needed in the world because we need lawyers, attorney, uh, CPAs, we need doctors, dentists, and they need to have their professional education to practice legally uh, with that field that they love, right? They wanna become a specialist on that field. So uh, they need to have that professional education. In financial education, yeah, you know, academic and professional education is important, but a person's education is incomplete without financial education. And a lot of times they don't find that out until they're very um, late. I guess to you know they may be very old and they don't have the energy to start I don't believe age matters here but the the faster you become aware of the new rules of money and how to invest for passive income the better okay so to under to obtain a true understanding of finances we must master several different lessons of money those who learn the value of financial education are able to construct solid financial foundations financial planning takes different intelligences Number one, there are four, mental intelligence. It's what most people equate with intelligence. It is head knowledge. It is very important, but without the other three intelligence, it is lacking. Some people excel at learning physically. Physical intelligence, they have to do, not hear, or read. That's number two. Number three is spiritual intelligence. It's not just something you get in church, but rather it is the intelligence we gain when we are inspired by something. For instance, there is a spirit that is created when we watch special Olympic athletes compete and push their bodies to the limit. That inspires something inside of us. Number four, emotional intelligence is the majority to keep a cool head and master emotions to respond the right way in all situations, including very difficult ones. Financial knowledge is made up of 90% emotional knowledge and 10% financial knowledge. This is due to the fact that most people experience financial hardship as a result of fear. They are hesitant to launch a new business concept. They worry that an investment may result in a loss. They are terrified of the financial information they don't have. They worry that they won't make it through difficult times. We must possess emotional intelligence to get past our fear. If we want to construct a lucrative financial house of bricks, only then we will be able to prosper throughout adversity and change. Wealth is financial knowledge. The very first new rule of money, wealth is financial education, right? Money is financial education. By knowing how wealth works, and that is always flowing to new places, we can continually educate ourselves about what is happening in the economies. For instance, if we know the dollar will be under pressure and lose value when the Fed started cutting interest rates, we next can turn to commodities like gold, oil, cryptocurrency, which often appreciate in value when the value of the dollar declines. 
When borrowing rates were at record lows and property values were low, we can then are able to sell our investments for a large profit and invest the proceeds in multifamily properties that produce passive income or any other business that produces positive cash flow. These investments are now beginning to pay off, right? Because we're now learning how to navigate through the ups and downs of the economy. So we don't predict the market. We know it's going to go up and down. We have the financial education to prepare. And that's why it's important that we diversify among the five asset classes that exist today. We talk about them all the time. A lot of people that talk about diversification, they talk about diversifying in one asset class and paper assets, which is very dangerous because if the market crashes and all your eggs are in that basket, then you lose it all in an instant. So you got to diversify among the five asset classes and focus on building passive income. There are many assets out there that will do great in down economies, okay? And I'm talking about assets that we control, businesses, right? Real estate properties. Uh, it could be an online business, right? That the economy needs while, you know, a product or solution, even while the market is down. So be creative and also innovate. Today is very important that when we're building a company, we are innovating so we can grow because there are much bigger competition due to the access of the internet. So now we have to stand out by innovating at all time and creating something valuable to the customers so that they can continue to spread the word and also we can retain those existing customers for a lifetime. The economy goes up and down. Bad and good economies are certain to come. The only question is, Will we be ready for them? Will we have financial education and therefore be able to build financial foundations of lucrative bricks? Or will we have a financial house of sin that will just get blown when the first storm comes around? Today, unfortunately, most people have financial houses made of sin. And there are all sorts of wolves that live out there in the darkness ready to destroy those houses. If we want to prosper financially, we have to prepare for trouble and change and build a financial house of bricks. How to build a financial plan made of lucrative foundations? Those with sound financial education, we can profit in both up and down markets. Many people lost practically everything. Pardon me. During the most recent severe recessions, people tragically lost their homes retirement savings and more due to the lack of control in real assets which is due to their lack of financial education some even commit suicide due to financial struggles others through experience others uh, though experience a different situation we made the most money ever due to financial education and real assets that we control while everybody else is losing money and it's panicking because of inflation and the economy crashing. So a true inside investor or a master investor recapitalize when the economy comes down. We always create cash flow. We are aware of the new financial regulations and have planned for difficult times, right? And so we are prepared because we know how to cash flow in down economies. I want to invite you to make sure you start working on your financial statement, figure out today where you are financially, how many assets you have, what is the type of income that you're making today? Is it earned income, which comes from a job? How much is that? What is your living expense, right? Make sure you add everything, all your expenses and liabilities, back debt, right? If you have credit cards that you just spend on liabilities, put that all there. Figure out the living expense, the, the number, okay? Your monthly expenses. And then work on building your first asset if you don't have any assets. Make sure you go to our website if you want to learn how you can get started today using other people's products. You don't need to have a lot of capital. In fact, we tell you, you don't need money to create passive income. You need knowledge. You need to invest in your financial education because the job number one of an entrepreneur is to raise capital. And the job number one of an inside investor, which is a master investor, is to make money work hard for us. So, you know, you can start with what you have and 
begin investing in your financial education. So go to our website. We have two eBooks right now, the 10 new rules of money. Okay, you can go get it. You're gonna learn about the new rules of money. We talk about it on this podcast, right? 1971, President Nixon separated the gold standard from the US dollar. The old rules of money became obsolete. New rules of money are very important because that is how we're going to be able to create wealth. You gotta become aware of those new rules. And then we have the other ebook, How to Build Cash Flow with the Internet, Turn Passive Income On. It's literally right now our flagship ebook because it has over 500 pages long and it's a bargain. This price is not gonna last because it has also additional bonuses in that book because we created a digital course with the ebook. You can download the ebook straight to your device, okay, and keep it. It's forever, right? You can also have access to a virtual office that we're giving you on our site. And when you get it today, you're gonna be able to have a lifetime access to that course. So the more value we add into that digital course, which is a bargain right now, I suggest that you go get it because in the future, that's gonna go up a lot. And because the, the information that is compound in there, you're gonna find a step-by-step on how you can get started making passive income using the internet whether it's in real estate, in any asset class that you want to get involved in, okay? And start with one asset class, become successful at that. Once you have created cash flow and passive income, you have an asset that is producing your own autopilot and you move to the next one, or you can scale that business, okay? But make sure that you start with one. That book right there has over 500 pages. It's gonna teach about money. It's gonna help you understand how money works, how wealth works today, and how to utilize debt everything about business and investing you'll find in that book but most importantly you'll have a step-by-step guide we're gonna hold your hand throughout each chapter you'll be able to see what you need to do exactly okay we're showing you inside the ebook how you can create your first sale on autopilot how to create your first passive income on autopilot how to scale your existing business if you already have a business that's making millions of dollars right maybe you need your stock at 2 million 3 million 20 million right we're consulting people around the world that have successful businesses to grow their business because we're changing several little things in their business that they're not aware of okay we are aware of it because we study business every single day and we're constantly investing so we're helping these companies you know double their cash flow within six months because they changed something in their marketing. We're doing, you know, helping them choose a better strategy for taxes and much more. But you need to start understanding that, hey, we need to create or acquire an asset that produces money while we're sleeping, passive income, okay? So this ebook is gonna change your whole life. It has bonuses that will help you uh, fill out your financial statement so you can download it into your Excel. If you are familiar with Excel, or you can print it out and do it by hand, okay? But you can can fill out your financial statement and see exactly where you are financially today, which that was the homework of today. That's the task that we must do, okay? So if you're listening to this for the first time, or you're new to our community, make sure you go to our website. If you're an existing listener, go and take action too, right? Um, And you will have also a mutual agreement that is available that you can use at any time with anybody. So if you're sending business to a person from your network, right, and say you know somebody and that person has a business and you're sending people to that business, you need to sign an agreement with that person and say, I would like to have this much percentage for every sale that I send to you. It is the ethical thing to do when it comes to building relationships. I see a lot of people leaving money on the table just because they don't have something in writing that will say, hey, I'm sending business to you just for that magic to happen. I would like to get a cut, which is totally legal and ethical. So you can utilize this universal agreement and renew it every year, okay? Remember, it's all about building our networks. So at all times, you gotta be ABC, always be closing, okay? And and think of how you can increase your passive income, okay? Use your mind. I hope that this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, what you think of the program. And of course, 
go to our YouTube channel, find us over there, subscribe, and make sure that you spread the word, right? Share this with somebody that will help you, whether it's your partner, whether it's your friend, right? Somebody that's in business with you, you wanna build your team, so you wanna get them on the right mindset, okay? So remember, today money is created with debt. Debt is tax free, okay? So we want to be comfortable using debt to invest for passive income, and that is good debt because the passive income is created by us investing that borrow money into an investment that is producing money. And it's paying the debt service, the interest, it's paying the maintenance and everything and everybody that is involved. And it's also, of course, leaving us with positive cash flow. The most important words in business are cash flow. So get used to saying that, become comfortable by being uncomfortable, put yourself in rooms that will make you grow and make sure you give us a like. I will talk to you on the next podcast or you might see me somewhere on YouTube. As we grow our company here, we're gonna bring guest speakers and we'll be able to talk about their business so that you can get inspired, so that our community becomes aware of the different issues that exist when building a business, okay? So thank you for having me. I appreciate your time in business, bringing you the good and bad news of money, the business principles that work in all economies. Bye for now.